consider two blocks and no friction. A sample question. We want to find the acceleration of the one kilogram mass up the incline and the tension in the string between the masses. We'll start by finding the acceleration. Step one is always draw all of the forces and all of the components. If you're ever in doubt, you know exactly where to start. Draw the forces. So there's mg acting down. You have to be very careful now in drawing the components. We need to have one that is parallel to the incline and one that cuts it at 90 degrees. And you need to practice this so that you draw them correctly. Very important. I'd also like to add that when you draw the components, they have to have arrows. You don't just draw uh, you know, a right angle, triangle. So this vector, this component, is how much of it is pushing into the incline. And this one is how much of it is acting down the incline. Let's label it now. We have theta. And there's where theta is. We label that 30 degrees. There's mg acting directly down. And this component that is parallel is mg sine theta. You're good at this now. You've practiced writing it out. So that tells us how much of that mass, how much of the weight of that mass is acting down the incline. I'm going to call it F sub D. Now the 2 kilogram mass has more weight, and I'll draw a longer arrow. And so it's going to be big mg, and it's the, going to determine which way this system accelerates. There's a tension in the string that is equal on both masses, equal and opposite. But the tension will have the same magnitude, and it's going to be larger than big FD, and smaller than mg, big mg. So to find the acceleration, I will tell you, you need the big picture equation. That's the best way to start to find the acceleration. So big mg minus the force down times the total mass, which is 1 plus 2, 3 times a. There's f net equals ma. Now, this shouldn't be a surprise to you. You've done this many times. So now we'll put in the numbers. We have uh, 2 times the 9.8. And the force down the incline, we know what that is. That's mg sine theta. So it's 1 times uh, 9.8. And I'll write the numbers in and have them. Uh, yeah, this you could actually do pretty quickly because you know that sine 30 is 0.5. But I'll write them all out like this. We'll go a little slow so you, you can get everything that you can understand. And we set that equal to <clears throat> ma which is 3 times a, the total mass, this total system. When I solve, I find it comes to 4.9. And you can check me on that if you want to. Get your calculator out. It's 4.9 meters per second squared. That's the acceleration of the 1 kilogram mass and also the 2. They're joined. a is 4.9 meters per second squared. Well, next, we want to find the tension in the string. So let's clear our surface. <clears throat> and to find the tension, we can pick any one of those masses and find the F equals MA equation for that mass. This is probably the easiest because it's a, a very simple equation and a, something simple to solve. Uh, the F equals MA equation is big MG minus T equals big M times A. And we know what all of these are. We have one unknown, which is the tension. Uh, the big mass is 2 times 9.8 minus our unknown, which is the tension. And it equals 2 <clears throat> times the acceleration. And the acceleration we found previously, 4.9. Now when you put this into your calculator and you solve for t, here's what you get. t equals... 9.8 newtons. <clears throat>